And now to Uvalde, Texas, and the fiery public response to a report highlighting failures in the police response to that school shooting that killed 19 young children and two of their teachers. People filled the room at last night's school district meeting demanding that officials explain those mistakes and take responsibility. Lydia Good luck asking for a fucking uh, a, a cop or a, a representative of the police to, to take responsibility for anything. That's not going to happen. <clears throat> But good luck. I mean, try. Luciano is in Uvalde, where she attended that meeting. Leila, good morning. I saw... Conservatives are running laps of victory around now about some 22-year-old stopping a shooter and shouting about how right they are while shoving all this away. Again, they lack object permanence. They have baby brains. So, of course, they're like, oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. Good guy with a gun. Good guy with a gun. We got one. Good guy with a gun, dude. That's it. Fucking avoid the mountain of evidence that, like, having a gun in, the, in any sort of situation escalates... Uh, that that situation to uh, increases dramatically the likelihood of gun violence happening, and and the millions of other instances where good guys, the goodest of all guys, cops with guns, have uh, failed to do the right thing, failed to apprehend a shooter, and just focus on the one instance. If neither had guns and the three people wouldn't die, literally don't need to look past the story. Exactly. Uh, one parent say every time we hear something, it re-triggers us. It like opens the pain up all over again. And what they heard yesterday was horrendous. Good morning to you. That's right, Gail, and for good morning. For many of those parents I talked to and I heard from, it was the first school board meeting that they attended. They say they had to do it. This community is in shock that school police chief Pete Arredondo is still on administrative leave. They want him fired, and they also called for the superintendent to step down. This community is ready for change, and they are angry. You saw the videos. It's out there, and now we all know the truth. That truth, spelled out in excruciating detail in a damning report by state lawmakers, brought an outraged community to Monday's Uvalde School District meeting. What are you going to do to make sure I don't have to wait 77 minutes bleeding out on my classroom floor just like my little sister did? Raw grief, fear, and skepticism, including among Uvalde's youngest, like Maylee Taylor. I don't want to go to your guys' school. Liberals be like... ISO cops that are, are between you, all the cops absolutely doing nothing, and Denver cops just absolutely blasting a crowd. I'm going crazy. The system is broken around this court. I'm the resident liberal here. What? I understand what you're trying to say. If they don't have protection. The superintendent outlined changes the district is making to protect students, from tightening school access points and adding more security cameras to hiring additional police officers. But many said the precautions are too little too late. You hired trash. That's not right. I lost a loved one right here. The state's investigation found that school administrators did not adequately prepare for the risk of an armed intruder, pointing to faulty locks and relaxed security policies. He's saying the libs want cops that are somehow between those two levels of inactivity and violence. Yeah. Um, when the reality is the solution to all of this comes from structural change, you know, legislation, making it harder to have weapons, things like that. As much as I shit on cops for creating a fucking false uh, notion that they are like literally stopping, uh, you know, stopping shooters dead in their tracks and like fucking swan diving in front of cocks to like prevent rapes from happening or whatever the fuck the media makes it seem like cops are doing on a regular basis. Uh, I understand that they're human beings in the end. I mean, barely, but still. And human beings are cowards. They don't want to fucking die. They don't want to die. Make the jobs fucking more manageable and easier by, I don't know, trying to take away some of these fucking guns that are on the streets. It's crazy. But no, we want to act like cops are superhuman and they can like, they will always fucking run and, and, and put themselves in, a, in danger regularly. You know, when that's not the case. It's not the case. Of course that's not the case. It's fucking crazy that gave the attacker unimpeded access to enter the classrooms. And the only time they actually fucking put themselves in danger or the narrative that they're constantly putting themselves in fucking danger is a justification for all of the not so dangerous times when they fucking have a, a hair trigger and mag dump into like a unarmed black suspect running away. That's to justify that level of brutality. The superintendent, you're the top dog, correct? Yes. So you should know what's going on in your schools? Correct. Why don't you? The report also concluded that the gunman likely murdered most of his victims before any responders set foot in the building, and that others may have survived if police hadn't assembled in a hallway waiting to act for an additional 73 minutes. 
I feel like most of these meetings are pointless. This was the first school board meeting for Jose Flores Sr. and Cynthia Herrera since their 10-year-old Jose Flores was killed. Two days after the shooting, we spoke with his stepsister, 9-year-old survivor Andrea Herrera. The parents say Andrea is not returning to school until they see significant change. I'm scared that it just might happen again. And is it hard having to see all these officers around? Well, I don't even focus on that. Everybody who was recorded in that video and ran the other way, they all need to be fired there. There's no point of having them there. Superintendent Hal Harrell stood by the move to put Arredondo on leave. He said the board will use the findings from the committee investigating the shooting from those legislators to make a final decision. They did not say when that decision will come. Tony. Let me be put in a class with an active shooter for an hour? That's not how that works. All right, Lily, thank you very much. Yeah. Part of the frustration, I think, for these families is it's been so difficult to get a, a straight answer. When you, when you think about what happened in the beginning, that big news conference with the governor and all the officials praising the work that the law yep. enforcement officers had done, and then to see on tape that none of that was true. I know. It's just heartbreaking and very frustrating. The yeah, nice little fucking paid leave, dude. What do you mean? Nice little fucking paid leave action. You know, you know how it is. You know how it works. <laughs>